Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly, and this way, this time, I'm going to explain a way to do like um, smoky, uh, poisoned smoke, and we're going to start using camo green. Okay, I'm going to give a green tint to the smoke. It's going to be a mixture of greens and browns. Okay, to give the sensation of uh, of a smoke. A Poison it is smoke, okay. We are going to play with browns and greens. I'm putting a little bit of this um pug bean camo. Okay, and we are going to put this We are going to cover the smoke with that. Okay. And then we wait that this dries before doing the next step. Okay. So the smoke is try to be quite translucent at the end, light colors. And you can go with darker colors at the bottom of the smoke. So I do that and I come back once it's done, when it's dry. Okay, once the Ogwin Camo have dry, we are going to apply a wash of Agvax Air Shade. This will give a brown shade that will make the smoke look more poisoning, dirty, more polluted in a way. Okay. So then you can be quite generous with that and later on we are going to work on the highlights. Okay, I'll make but it looks a little bit messy, don't worry. Okay, but you want to give this brown look, especially the bottom. Okay, here I'm not worried neither on the bottle. I am the bottle. on the bowl on the bowl. Sorry, on the this is this is a blue ball ball for escaping. Okay, so now we are going to wait this device, and I'm back. Okay, so this is how it looks like once I got Hershey half dry, and now I'm going to use against the Alwin Camo. And we are going to highlight these lines. Lighter. I said I want to keep the top lighter and the bottom a little bit darker. And we can use snow to give a little bit more of tone variation, but I have. The do not hide so I can make this when I need these lines thinner. Okay, I have three notes height, dark brown, so I can work this. And in some parts, we can even use XV88 to give a sick, it will give a, like a dirtiness. We can mix it with the Reynolds height 
and make these color, color transitions and browns, aqueous and greens. Okay, and with this, we work on the different colors. So let's just start from this tip and let's go down. Let's make Okay, and now I take 88 and I mix it a little bit. We have then this greenish look. Now we go back to the green. And we are playing with these colors to make all these, trans all these transitions. Seems that the my wind camo was not well mixed. It's causing more problems than helping. So we keep working die like that. with more brown color here and we have this if you make a mistake like I did here with a flash what you do is you paint on top with a solid color to eliminate any wash and then and I can take now a little bit of Reynolds height Mix it here. You can see when we put Reynolds height, this goes much darker greenish. Okay. Again, we go green. And here I'm spending a lot of time on one of these balls is mainly to show you how to do this type of smoke that can be used on a scaven, on nargle or even sometimes on, on death miniatures. Okay, what I think is more this is more for nargle, scaven, anything that is using like poisons and this type of things, right? I think death is more on a different type of magical smoke. And here again I take green height and I mix it here to make this transition smoother. It's like a little bit of blending. You can see. You can keep some parts very dark and some parts lighter. And if you were looking for a very fast job, just the two steps that I did before, before highlighting, they were giving a very nice result. I just I want to make the smoke more lifeful. More interesting this is why I'm doing this. Okay. Whoops. Like that.
Okay. And I think like that is how I do this type of a smoke. Okay. So I hope you find this week this one um, useful. You like it? Let me know what do you think. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.